In this video, I'm super excited to show you a new functionality that we've implemented into the Upsell plugin. It's called the Smart Order Bump. So it's all about the order bump down here. So let me show you exactly how it works so you can see the power behind it how, and how it's going to help you boost and skyrocket your sales. So we're on a checkout form here. Let me quickly put in some details. We're presented with our per the product that we're purchasing. We have the payment information, credit card and PayPal. Let me throw in my test credit card. And then again, so this functionality is all about this smart order bump here. So we are presenting the customer, the visitor of the website with the offer to purchase an order bump for an additional $47. They can add this to their order. So they can check it off if they want to add it or they can simply uncheck it if they don't want it. So let's say that the customer, the website visitor did not want to add this to their order. If they leave it unchecked, they check off the terms of service, they continue and submit payment for just the single product that they're purchasing. The payment went through successfully and we're presenting them with a special offer, a one time only 50% off this order bump. So you can really send them to any page they want, but here is an example. So they did not check off that order bump. So with our new smart order bump functionality, you can decide where the website visitor to go, where your customer should go based off of if they purchased the order bump or if they didn't purchase the order bump. So because they did not purchase the order bump this time, we're going to take them to a page offering the, to the same product. You give them a little message, whatever you want to type that, hey, we saw you didn't purchase the order bump. We think that it's important that you have it. We want to present you one time 50% off. And now they have the ability to purchase that same product because we know that they didn't purchase it because they didn't check off the order bump. We're presenting them with the opportunity to purchase this at a discounted rate. So again, you can send them to whatever you want. It doesn't necessarily have to be the same product, but you now have the ability to send them to a different page depending on if they purchase or don't purchase the order bump. So let's just continue this. We go ahead and yes, they now want to add this to the order because it's in because they're getting it for an additional 50% off. So instead of the $47, it's $23.50. It's going to be a one-click upsell. Let's go ahead and add it to the order. So there you go. That ended our sales funnel. You can have as many upsells and downsells as you want. You can actually take them to a different upsell, downsell after they say yes or no to that offer that you presented after they decided yes or no on the order bump. But as you can see here, so they purchased the main offer, your product, $47. They purchased the order bump, $47, but they got that discount, 50%, and their order total. So let me quickly do this again with you and show you what happens if they decide to purchase the order bump. Okay, so here we are on the checkout page again. Let me put in some information. Let me enter in my test credit card. So again, here we are, our order bump, our smart order bump. This time we're going to say, yes, we want it. So they're adding that to their order. So they're now purchasing your main product and your order bump. So they have both inside of their purchase right here. Let's go ahead and proceed with the payment. So there you go, our order went through successfully, but as you can see this time, because they did purchase the order bump, we're of course not gonna present them with the 50% offer, so we're sending them to a different page. We're now sending them to a different product, a different upsell that they can purchase. So they have the opportunity to purchase this upsell for $100, or they can skip it. Let's say, let's say they wanna skip it. We now take them to a downsell for a product for $37. So again, you can have as many upsells and downsells as you want. Let's just go ahead and purchase this with this one click upsell. So there you go. So now they ended up purchasing the order bump, our main product and a downsell product. So again, the power behind this new smart order bump functionality is you get to decide the page that they go to after they either purchase the order bump or if they decide not to purchase the order bump. Let me show you in the back end how easy it is to set up. So here we are inside of the back end of the Upsell plugin, inside of the WordPress admin dashboard, and it's super simple. So our main offer product that we created, let me go in here and edit it. So we have the URL options tab and the order bump tab. So first you're gonna to wanna to enable the order bump. Go ahead and set up your order bump and choose the product. So when you enable this, when you choose yes, you'll see now there's a URL options. You have the purchase redirect URL, which is where they should go if they purchase the product. This now appears because the order bump is enabled, and this is where they should go if they purchase the order bump. So if you they purchase the order bump, they're going to go here. If they don't purchase the order bump, they're going to go here. And as you can see, if order bump, if I disabled it, 
go back to URL options, that's hidden. So all you're really worrying about is the purchase redirect URL. So super simple to set up, but guess what? That's not even it. There's another smart order bump functionality that we put in place that I want to show you as well real quick. Okay, so here we are on a page where we're giving away a growth hacks spreadsheet. So you're saying, well, you're giving it away. How does a smart order bump functionality come into play here? So the website visitor has the opportunity. You're trying to generate a lead, capture a lead by sending them to this page to download a free offer. So let me put in my information. And as you can see, it's free. But here's where the smart order bump functionality comes into play again. So we can still present them with an order bump. Even though we're sending them to the website, we're sending them to your lead page to download a free offer, they can go ahead and continue. So they can continue and download the free offer and you capture a lead, that's great. But now you're also presenting them with an opportunity to turn them into an actual customer. So as you can see here, it's currently free, no payment information is needed, they can continue. But if they say, hey, I do want this order bump, this offer, let me go ahead and check it off. As you'll see, it automatically will add the order bump, the price, to the payment information and now the credit card and or PayPal information will expand so the customer can actually check out. So now let me enter in my information. Checked off, we can continue and it's gonna be processing their payment. So there you go, instead of just turning them into a lead, we were able to convert them into a customer with our smart order bump functionality. So just to recap a little bit with the smart order bump functionality, you now have the ability to send the customer to a specific page depending on if they purchase the order bump or if they don't purchase the order bump. And then you also have the ability to present the order bump on a free product. This way you're going to try to convert them from not just a lead but into a paying customer. So hopefully you can see how powerful this new smart order bump functionality is and how it's going to help you skyrocket your sales. If you have any questions, please let us know. Thanks.